Hey guys, this is Fabio with Mass Screen Insulation, and here we are insulating over 160 apartment units. Today I'm gonna show you about the project that we're working on and a little bit about mass screen insulation. So this is a big residential commercial building. It's about 165 apartments and we're insulating each of these units with thermal insulation on the outside wall and acoustical insulation on the demising walls. So next week, guys, we will start insulating this entire floor. We will start using sound insulation on these demising walls, blown in insulation on the ceiling, and we will continue with the spray foam insulation on these exterior walls. Now I wanna show you something that's very important when you're using spray foam for you to cover anything that can't get foam inside of it. So these windows are obviously expensive windows. We don't want any foam on it, so we prep it with plastic. Those electrical boxes, we like to cover those to make sure that no spray foam gets inside. And that electrical wire is so that when the spray foam is applied, it doesn't pull that wire out and our guys shave uh, the wire and hurt the wire. So another huge advantage to using spray foam is when you use it in the sill plates. So the sill plates are a difficult area to insulate and with the spray foam, you're able to seal all the corners and fill it to a good R value that you need. So on this application, we did, you know, five and a half inches of open cell foam, gives us an R21. Everything's nice and air sealed, all the corners, all the pockets to really keep the draft and air out. So one of the ways you can tell that you have good open cell spray foam on your job site is if you just pick one of the pieces that you're using and it looks kind of like this, nice and, nice and neat, nice and porous, not really coming apart, nice and solid. And that's a good way to tell that you have good spray foam on your site, the application that you're doing. So here we have Mass Green Team working on the cleanup of these walls. First he used the Sawzall, and now he's coming in with the hand scraper and cleaning it up so that the drywall company can do their job after. 